next break, so make sure and stick around. Meanwhile, I want to play a little clip from uh, um, Barack Obama. He is going to be complaining uh, about the Constitution and the Founding Fathers and how that they wrote a document that is inhibiting some of the things that he wants to do. Of course, that's the point. In fact, it inhibits, it doesn't just inhibit, it prevents everything he wants to do. The problem is he is not paying attention to the Constitution. But anyway, here is uh, the President's uh, complaint. It's cut number eight. I hear more and more that they're disappointed in you. That, they, that you aren't the transformational political figure they hoped you would be. How does that make you feel when you hear that? Oh, I, you know, I think this is the nature of being president. What's frustrated people is, is that I have not been able to force Congress to implement every aspect of what I uh, said in 2008. Well, you know, it turns out that uh, our founders designed a system that makes it more difficult to bring about change than I would like sometimes. So, first of all, the president is upset that he can't force Congress to do what he wants. Well, I mean, didn't he learn that in civics, maybe in, in the eighth grade, that you, the president can't force the Congress to do anything? You know, he's saying it turns out, it turns out that the Founding Fathers designed a system to make it more difficult to bring about change. What do you mean it turns out? Like, he didn't know that? He just figured it out? You know, he's grown up in America his whole life. He's been educated. He ran for and was elected president. He was actually a United States senator for a while, and he just figured out? that he can't do whatever he wants as president? I mean, didn't he know that? I mean, did he think he was elected king or dictator? Is that what he thought when he first uh, went into the White House? Did he, did he confuse the White House with Versailles or the Kremlin or something? I mean, I mean, what is this guy serious? It, it turns out. And, of course, the Founding Fathers designed this system for a reason. There's a reason they don't want... Uh, change. There's a reason they want to make it difficult, because they started out with a great document. They didn't want it changed. And they knew that, you know, that, that, that you can always have a whim. There can always be some idea that is going to go into favor, which is generally going to be a bad idea. You know, you get a fad, you get a trend. And, you know, the founding fathers were learned men. I mean, they knew what worked and what didn't work, but they knew from time to time uh, there might be some kind of popular fad that would sweep the nation and they would call for something, uh, some type of form of change. And they didn't want that. The Constitution was written to slow things down, to make us think before we do something stupid. And, of course, the stupid things that we need to think about are all the things that President Obama wants to do. The fact that the Constitution and the congressional process and checks and balances, the fact that these things are inhibiting uh, Barack Obama, that's exactly what they're supposed to do. It's, it's a good thing. Right? And, but, but again, the funny thing to me is that the president didn't know this. You know, it just, it turns out, gee, you know, I, I didn't realize, I thought I could just get my way. I thought I could do whatever I wanted. But, you know, I found out that the Constitution prevents me. Yeah, you know, he should have found that out a long time ago, like, you know, like when he was in elementary school. Anyway, uh, I'll